On the WRCO Morning Show, we have a, a rare opportunity to talk to someone who is nominated for the Packers Fan Hall of Fame. As we say good morning to Angela Kimmel. Uh, good morning, Angela. Hi. Good morning, Phil. Good to have you on here. So uh, tell us a little bit about your story and how you became a fan of the green and gold. Yeah. So I was raised in a family that was a very um, passionate Green Bay Packer family. I have many fond childhood memories watching games with my dad and my grandfather. Um, I also have a lot of fond memories growing up traveling to games, um, going to games because I'm from southeastern Wisconsin. Um, I, I got to go to games when the Packers used to play at County Stadium with my dad and um, also travel up to Lambeau Field. And then as I progressed in my training and moved out of state, I'm training, I trained to be a psychologist. That's when I really traveled to see the Packers play. Um, I got to see them play in South Florida, in Tampa, in Atlanta, on the road to their Super Bowl victory. Um, and then in um, around the Midwest, where I live right now, in uh, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Detroit, and Cleveland. Those are some uh, really f good areas for pro football. How does it feel to be a Packer fan in some of those enemy territories? So the good news is, is I've never lived in a city that's been a strong rival of the Packers. Um, and the Packers are very well thought of um, around the country. There's a lot of Packer fans wherever I've gone. How did it come to be that you were nominated for the Packers Fan Hall of Fame, Angela? So, um, a good friend of mine, um, Jen Nagy, who um, is also from a passionate Packer fan family, um, she drafted my nomination statement. So she felt she's, you know, been my friend for years and has heard about me traveling to all the Packer games. I've been at some very notable games. Um, I made it to Brett Favre's last game at Lambeau Field. I traveled to see Brett Favre get inducted in the, in the, NAS, the NFL Hall of Fame. Um, so she heard these stories over the years, but she was really impressed. I got married in September, and we had a Lambeau leap at our wedding in Cleveland. My husband and I got married in Cleveland, and I, I wanted to incorporate something Wisconsin-like um, because I wasn't able to get married back in my home state. Um, so we came up with this idea, rather than the wedding guests clicking on the glasses when they wanted the bride and groom to kiss, I proposed that we have them do a Lambo leap. So we got the DJs involved with the Todd Rundgren bang on the drum all day song. They brought in green and gold lights. And then we built, um, like, a end zone out of, like, um, bleachers and padding. And then we had a crowd background. And um, so if you wanted, and we had cheese heads for people to wear and signs that said, like, leap here, frozen tundra or burst, um, go pack go. And so if you wanted my husband and I to kiss, you had to do this Lambo leap. So little did we know, but this became the hit of the wedding. Um, before we knew it, there was a line of people who wanted to all do the Lambo Leap. So they brought the Lambo Leap, um, and then we also had the fake AstroTurf. They brought the Lambo Leap out in the middle of the dance floor, and um, different groups of people took pictures with my husband and I, everyone doing the Lambo Leap. So it was just a wonderful way to spread Packer spirit. I've never celebrated so many Packer touchdowns in my life. Um, and I'll fondly remember my wedding day for that. So anyways, it was such a fun. I mean, we had Browns fans, Patriots fans, Ravens fans, like all sorts of different NFL fans doing the Lambo Leap for the first time. So, so when Jen saw this, she was like, this is so awesome. This is so unique. Um, so that was in my nomination statement. So I've, I've, I've not heard how many people were nominated this year. Um, I've heard in the past it's been in the hundreds. Um, but I was that um, these are the Packer accomplishments that I believe led to me being selected as a finalist. 
Well, a couple of things in the background. Jen is originally from Richland Center, so that's our connection with you. Uh, we appreciate yeah. you, that. And uh, we also want to encourage people that are listening to WRCO, uh, they can still vote for you and, and help you out, can't they? Yes, 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 yes. That would be wonderful. Um, you can vote at Packers.com under the fan tab, and you can read the nomination statement that Jen drafted. Um, you can vote once every day. Um, till the end of the month. Well, have you read any of the bios on the other fans that you're going up against? I have. I had. The competition is stiff. <laughs> um, a lot of accomplished Packer fans. I was very impressed by things other people have done as I was reading the other nominations. So what do you think might put you over the top? Um, so what well, might put me over the top is just the uniqueness of what I did. Um, I think that everybody, I think the Lambo Leap brings up a lot of like warm and special memories for Packer fans. I think it's a point of pride and the Lambo Leap is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Oh yeah. Right. That's good. Good tie in. Well, let me ask you about some of the games that, that you have watched. Um, you, you've seen some pretty significant games. Is, is there one that's number one on your list, though? Ooh. Um, I will always remember um, going to Brett Favre's last game at Lambeau Field. Um, so I was flying around the country for psychology, my psychology internship selection process. And so I was flying from Boston. Um, I was planning to go home to Fort Lauderdale, but then when the Packers advanced in the playoffs, I rerouted my flight. Atlanta got hit in a snow by a snowstorm and I got stuck there overnight. Um, I had to advocate to get on a very early flight the next day. And then, um, my family picked me up at the airport with my Lambeau Field winter gear, and we made it to the game in time for kickoff. But I will always remember the crowd chanting, like, four more years, four more years. Because <laughs> um, we, we wanted Brett to return, of course. Um, so that is a favorite memory. And then I also will always fondly remember seeing Brett Favre getting inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame um, Chris Berman was the host of that event, and there were so many Packer fans there that day chanting, Go Pack Go, Go Pack Go. He said, Am I at Lambeau Fields or am I in Canton, Ohio? And it's just, it's so cool that the Packer fans are just such a strong group. We're well traveled, um, we're passionate, um, and it's just, it's such a cool um, group to belong to. Have you ever met Brett Favre? I have not. I have not. Maybe one of these days. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I've never met Brett Favre. What about um, some one, other Packers? The only Packer player I have ever met. Um, I met Antonio Freeman. Um, I went to grad school in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and um, he had signed with the Dolphins. So I went to one of their practices. And um, the punter gave me a football, so I used a wheelchair, and the wheelchair seating was very close to the field. So as the punter was jogging off, he gave me a football, and um, I, the usher asked, which player do you want to meet? And I was like, I want to meet Antonio Freeman. And the usher was like, huh? Because Antonio Freeman had just signed. He was not like a local fan favorite. Um, and so his reaction was, no one asked to meet Antonio Freeman, but Antonio Freeman was so tickled that a Packer fan um, was there and eager to meet him. Oh, that is great. <laughs> Have you ever thought about uh, putting down some notes for a book sometime? Ah, I hadn't thought of that, but that would be, uh, that would be cool. I do have a lot of, like, stories of... Um, you know, just um, challenges and adversity and, like, triumphs that I've gone to to try to get to these games. That's a great idea, Phil. 
<laughs> well, maybe someday, that's for sure. And so um, you, you're kind of, uh, you know, someone who could be in the Fan Hall of Fame. What does it entail if you do make it, if you are chosen? Uh, what are some of the things you get? Yeah. So um, by far, for me, the biggest benefit would be it's a huge honor. Um, being a Green Bay Packer fan is definitely a part of my identity. I have so many positive um, experiences and memories associated with being a Packer fan. Um, and so by far, and another thing is like, it is an honor even just to make it this far and be a finalist. Um, so, um, so by far the biggest benefit for me would be the honor itself. Um, all um, these, those who are selected to be in the Hall of Fame have their name on a plaque in the Packer Hall of Fame. Um, and if you read the people who have been selected in the past, it is a very diverse group. Um, and so it would be an honor to be um, in that group. Um, but as far as like tangible prizes, the Packers do give you four club seats to a game in this year. They give you um, field sideline passes, which would be awesome. I've never been on the field at Lambeau. Um, I think you get a subscription to PackerNews.com and a gift card to the pro shop. So things that would really just be wonderful for a Packer fan. So who is your favorite player of all time? Oh, easily Brett Favre. And why? So... I really admired Brett's um, grit. Remember the streak in how he um, did all those con- he started all those consecutive games, a streak that I don't think will ever be broken by another active NFL player. So I loved his stubbornness, his determination. Um, and then I also like how he played through adversity. I'll never forget that night in December in 2001 when he had the plays, like, right after his dad died um, and the, against the old Monday Night Football, the Oakland Raiders game. Um, so, by far, um, Brett Favre, definitely one of my favorite players. Um, but I also am partial to, like, the wide receivers, the playmakers. So, like, I've also really loved, like, Jordy Nelson. Um, and the current young receiving corps is a very cool group. Yeah, it's kind of a cool time to be a Packer fan, Angela, because you talk about uh, the future and the potential of, of this particular club and hopefully several players that will stick around for a few more years, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's been such a fun season. You know, like I didn't know what to expect with the transition to Jordan Love. Um, and it's just been it's been so cool to see his development and growth. No doubt. What about Aaron Rodgers? He's still in the news from time to time. He is. He is. So he is. Um, So I have a lot of respect for what Aaron did on the field. Um, The miracle at Motown was one of my all-time favorite Aaron (laughs) Rodgers memories where he hit that Hail Mary to win the game. Um, So, yeah, no, definitely. I think we were very blessed to have the, um, the 30 years of Hall of Fame quarterback play. Yeah, very lucky. And then uh, a little bit before our time, but Bart Starr certainly too. So, you know, to have three Hall of Famers on, on the same club is pretty unique, isn't it? Right, 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 right. So the card is still out on Jordan Love. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, this season was pretty promising. So you're a dedicated Packer fan. Uh, I know one other thing I was going to ask you about. Um, what does your voicemail sound like? Do you have a message uh that in, yes, in, what, yes, what is that? Yes. So for years, um, my voicemail used to say, because um, yes, that's in my nomination statement. Um, so for many years, I would say, hi, you've reached the voicemail of Angela Kimmel right now. I am not available to take your call. Any calls regarding the Green Bay Packers will be prioritized and promptly returned. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun because even people who... Um, had no association with the Packers. Like, they might have been calling from a doctor's office, and they would say, like, go Packers, like, boo bears, you know, like, even just to, like, so it made um, listening to my voicemail a lot of fun. 
Well, we hope some folks in southwest Wisconsin will will take your story to heart and maybe go on the Packer website and, and, and vote for you. Anything else you'd like to add today, Angela? Yeah, I mean, it just, it's, it's a really cool thing. You know, the Packers are the only team in professional sports that have a Hall of Fame to honor the fans. Um, and so I hope that Packer fans even take this contest as a matter of pride and that they cast their votes. Um, because, yeah, it's, it's, there's nothing else in sports like it. Um, I hope that everyone takes pride in our history that we're the only team in professional sports that's owned by the community, um, that we have a season ticket waiting list that is like thousands of fans long. Um, And just as someone that has moved all over the country, like Packer fans are just unique and special. So, so yeah, I hope um, everyone gets out there and votes or vote, you know, you don't have to get out there, but votes online um, because this is just a really neat, neat contest. Angela Kimmel, it's spelled K-U-E-M-M-E-L. Look for her name there on the Packer uh, website, Packers Fan Hall of Fame nominee. And I hope, Angela, we can say, hey, we know her when, when you win it all. Oh, that would be wonderful. I will keep you updated so they don't. So the voting ends January 31st, but they won't officially announce the winner until February. Okay, good. Well, we'll, we'll wait with bated breath. Thanks so much for joining us today, Angela. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much for having me, Phil. And go Pack Go, right? Go Pack Go.